how to remove these nasty strip bolts from your carburetor, um, your Kian carburetor when you're working on your Harley Davidson or any, any kind of Japanese carburetor on any Japanese bike for that matter, because they all use uh, GIS bolts. And you can recognize these bolts by looking at the uh, surface of the head. And I'm not sure if you can see it, but there is a small dot. There's a small dot on the surface over there. And that, and that means it's GIS, uh, Japanese Industrial Standard. So you can't use the normal Phillips screwdriver because it's, it's just not gonna be a good fit into the head, into the slots and it's gonna strip it. And I did, frankly, I didn't know this before. I used to, <laughs> I used to use Phillips on, on my Japanese motorcycles and a lot of people would have done this as well. So we ended up with all these used bikes uh, with strip bolts on the carburetors. Anyway, it's worth investing in one of these GIS screwdrivers and it's gonna be a perfect fit and you will never ever strip these bolts again. And afterwards, I'm sure you're gonna replace them with the Allen bolts. Most people do that. It's just really simple, easy, and it's easy to work with these bolts. But when you do come across these damaged uh, bolts, instead of dr trying to drill them out or angle grinding, whatever, which can get really messy, uh, the best bet is to get one of these extractor kits costs around five pounds if you're in the UK and pop it into your screwdriver where you can change the bits. Give it a good press down and unscrew it. And the extractor will cut into the, uh, the damaged part and get it out really easily and if you so choose you can also pop it in your cordless driver i prefer the other way though because it's just i have more control over it and if you want to make it faster give it a good press down It's gonna get it out for you really quickly. Anyway, I hope this helps.